In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the Stream Deck pedal. So uh, let's just get straight on into it, shall we? Uh, we've got a little perforated tab along there that I've just pulled off to save the uh, noise. <laughs> and opening up, this is what we've got inside uh, in a nice little uh, bag. The actual pedal itself, little label on the back. It's quite weighty, actually. I mean, I've got uh, another pedal that I use that I've been using for a while, or set of pedals. Uh, this, by comparison, is uh, considerably heavier, uh, so feels like it's going to uh, certainly not slip around or anything on the floor. Nice little uh, clunk to the buttons. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how this actually sounds when it's on the floor and if the uh, sort of clunk of the pedals comes through. It is actually quite loud. So I'm using a different pedal on the floor, which is virtually silent. Uh, so I can see how this has got some uh, sound to it. Obviously, I'm using it directly under the microphone at the moment. So it will be being picked up uh, quite a bit more than the one on the floor. But anyway, we shall uh, we shall see. Uh, let's come back to that in a moment. What else do we have in the uh, the box? Uh, Stream Deck pedal uh, guide. So uh, there is uh, some things that you can do with this. So it is uh, obviously just three buttons, but we can change the sensitivity of the uh, buttons by uh, adjusting the springs that are inside so we've got uh, in here uh, some metal uh, some middle pedal stoppers so you can actually just have it as a two button thing so that if you want to just rest your foot on the middle pedal uh, then you can put stoppers in there which I'll be having a look at in a moment so that basically you wouldn't be pushing that one down and then you just use your feet on either side instead just feeling it though I mean you could pretty much rest your foot on there in any case without needing the uh, the stoppers so uh, not sure that those are entirely necessary uh, certainly not for me in any case but let's have a look at what else we've got in here so there are the uh, middle pedal stoppers then we've got in here uh, some additional springs so these are to change the actual uh, sort of weight of the, uh, the a force that you need to put down on each pedal so I'll have a look at how we can uh, change those out as well. Uh, apart from that, we've got uh, a cable, which is USB-C, which goes into the back of the actual pedal itself, into here, uh, and then that plugs into USB 3 on the uh, the computer. So how about we uh, actually just have a little look on the back. It does look like I'm going to have to get a screwdriver out to actually unscrew the back plate uh, and uh, have a look at how we go about changing these. So I'll do that first actually. So I've saved you uh, watching me unscrew some screws there, but I have uh, unscrewed the screws on the back. Uh, one thing that I notice is in the uh, diagram in the little brochure here, uh, it's got four of these uh, rubber feet stoppers, um, whereas on here it's got six. So I don't know if they've uh, realized that uh, they needed a bit more support underneath it, but in any case, there are these two extra feet. I also noticed that the uh, screws, uh, there is four long screws that go into the corners, uh, but the ones that are into this uh, maybe it, maybe it was an afterthought. <laughs> Those are shorter screws, so just make sure that when you uh, take them out, you do uh, notice that these are the shorter screws. Uh, as you unscrew the screws, by the way, you will notice that the back will spring up. So obviously there are springs underneath this, and this is obviously the plate on which they are resting. Uh, so it does actually pop the uh, the back up. Uh, this is if I just turn this over. Uh, so this is kind of the, uh, well, whether you call that the back or the front, I suppose the back, this is the thicker part of it. Um, and then the plate sort of slots in, so it's got these little slots that slot in there. Once you take that off though, um, you can then see that we've got the four screws uh, are just here. Uh, so that is where these uh, screws are, uh, sorry, screws, springs, <laughs> that we are going to uh, be changing out. Uh, I'm actually going to leave them as they are. It, the tension seems pretty uh, fine to me. Uh, but I will just note here that you've got uh, basically these different spring sets. So we've got some with uh, uh, different numbers on them, uh, either 700, 1400, uh, 1000, and uh, 2000 uh, and then it tells you in here which springs to put where to give you either a soft medium or hard feel to them uh, and then they've also got obviously some springs that are already in there uh, the pedal stoppers so if I was to open these pedal stoppers up here uh, these would just go in the middle if you wanted to stop the uh, the middle one going so you can just literally take these springs out uh, and replace these with the uh, little stoppers there and that is to uh, just stop those middle uh, middle pedals from going down. In fact, if I can get these out, he says, having put them in, <laughs> let me just take those out completely. Uh, so I'm going to put back the original springs 
uh, and I'm actually going to put this plate back on now. That is just the process of how you change them when you're putting the plate back in. Then there are these little, as I say, notches here. So those just slot in uh, to the little gap in the edge. And then if I put it in the right way, that would always help, wouldn't it, if I put it the right way around. There we go. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll just screw it down again. So once again, just uh, remembering that the short screws uh, go in these two central holes here, like this. Uh, and once you've screwed one down, obviously it doesn't uh, bounce up anymore. So he says having not screwed it in properly. So what I shall do, uh, in fact, <laughs> that just goes to show you those short screws are only going into the back plate. <laughs> Uh, just to prove that there is uh, no uh, pre-planning in these videos, they're all just one take. Uh, this is what I need, the longer ones that actually go into the base itself, of course. <laughs> so in actual fact, there is no need to remove <laughs> these uh, these smaller screws from here. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily know that, but yeah, these two, you don't actually need to remove the screws if you are removing the back plate. There we go, all back together. So uh, let's just actually get it plugged in. So what I'll do is I'll pop this on the floor, plug it into the computer, and then we shall open up the uh, Stream Deck app and we'll have a little look at how we get this uh, set up. Okay, so I've got the Stream Deck pedal plugged in and uh, when you plug it in, it will pop up a little uh, notification on the screen to uh, let you know that it's there, but also it will specifically ask if you want to copy over a profile from another Stream Deck device over onto this Stream Deck device. So just as if you're plugging in a regular Stream Deck, you'll get this notification up. Uh, it's the first pedal. I don't have any profiles or anything like that to copy over, so I'm just starting from scratch. One thing you'll also notice is once you acknowledge that, uh, then if I come into the Stream Deck software, it looks something like this. But you'll also have this little sort of floating thing as well, which uh, sort of shows you what is uh, showing on the uh, on the Stream Deck. Uh, I wondered what that was to, at first, but uh, a little investigation <laughs> showed me this is uh, something called the Action Bar, uh, and you can actually put a button on your regular Stream Deck if you want to have this one pop up on screen so that you can actually see what the pedals are. I don't think I'll be using that. I think I'll be able to remember what the three different pedals are. Uh, but in any case, if you want to, you could have that button on your regular Stream Deck and then it would pop this up on screen so that you could always see, you know, if you forgot which pedals were which. Uh, so I will just close this one out. But like I say, you can always action that or activate that using this uh, action function. Uh, action bar rather which is just in the uh, stream deck list of actions so it's just appeared in there as I installed the pedal uh, and that is as I say available so if I come to my uh, regular stream deck over here uh, and then if I was to put this action bar item onto here press that button on my regular stream deck you can see that we get the little uh, foot pedal thing uh, pop up and press it again and it will disappear so uh, as i say i don't think i shall be using that uh, i'll just try and remember those uh, three pedals <laughs> uh, so if i come back to the uh, stream deck pedal though uh, it's basically if you know how to use stream deck you know how to use this interface uh, there's basically just three buttons for the uh, three pedals uh, they do insist on putting this little uh, welcome link to uh, link you to the elgato website uh, that we just delete off every single profile um, but that's it really you can set up multiple different profiles so what I'll do for this one is um, I'm using Ecamm Live at the moment so this will be my Ecamm Live profile uh, what I'll tend to do is always have a way to get back to my main scene so if I just uh, drag this one over to here uh, and I shall give this uh, a little this one so there we go that is now my main scene so if I press that button on my pedal uh, then it will take me back to uh, back to that scene so and I can always uh, get back because I have a I have my other pedals <laughs> to take me back to this one um, obviously all of the icons and things like that you can change in here but it's a bit pointless really <laughs> because they're not going to appear on the um, uh, the pedal themselves however it wouldn't be pointless if you were going to use that little feature there to have the um, uh, the little image pop up so which one the action bar uh, so if you did want to have some icons that symbolized you know what these things did then uh, that would make sense then because then they would appear in that little uh, little uh, flo uh, floating window I should say <laughs> losing my words there uh, so let's have a little look at what else I might want to put in here when I'm recording I do tend to occasionally use my pause button so I might want to just have one of these as a pause and then I also might want to have one as uh, the end recording button as well. So I'll just put that one on there. 
So that is uh, basically the profile that I might use when I'm recording my videos using Ecamm Live. Uh, but then I also may want to have one for when I'm using Zoom. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just come in here and uh, create a new profile just exactly as you would do regularly. Uh, and I'm going to just delete that one again. Once again, it's always there. <laughs> so uh, let me come down to my Zoom uh, controls here. So let's say I want to uh, toggle the mute. Uh, maybe I also want to toggle my uh, video. And let's just say uh, leave meeting. <laughs> There's always that awkwardness on Zoom meetings when it's like, okay, then bye. No, you hang up, you hang up as people are fumbling around trying to find the, uh, the hang up. So that just makes it nice and simple. Um, so what I might want to do here then is actually just rename these. So I know that obviously this is quite a uh, logical and straightforward process if you've used a regular stream deck. Uh, so if I come to uh, edit profiles, uh, this one, I'm going to call this one Ecamm Live. I'll just move this box out of the way, get my keyboard back. So call this one Ecamm Live, and then this one here, I'm gonna call Zoom. Now, the reason for me doing this, because obviously, as I say, it's pretty straightforward process really, uh, but now what I can show you is if you have a regular Stream Deck, which indeed I do, I'll come over to Stream Deck XL, what you can do with a uh, uh, stream deck for any stream deck actually is you can change profiles from uh, from a button so you use a profile to uh, a button to switch between profiles i've done a whole video on uh, why <laughs> why profiles are better than folders for organizing your uh, your actions and things like that i'll leave a link to that in the description it's actually my most viewed uh, video on my YouTube channel. Uh, but the way that you do that is um, you basically just use the built in Stream Deck function to switch profile. But the interesting thing about this, uh, or at least interesting to me, <laughs> is that you can actually switch profiles on a different device. So here you can see if I use that switch profile, it says the device name is the current profile. Uh, is the current device rather but what you can do is I can go to stream deck pedal here and then the profile what I can do is I could have uh, this be ecamm live for example uh, and then I could have another button be zoom or you can see there that I can just put next profile so it would just be a case of clicking between them only thing about using it that way is you'd need to know which profile you're on so I think I will explicitly say that one is for ecamm live this one over here is going to be for the pedal and is going to be for my zoom. I'll obviously go and uh, create icons because you can see how I'm a bit uh, a bit like that <laughs> with my icons. They all have to uh, match, be the same style. Uh, but basically now I can just use these buttons to switch the profile on the, uh, the actual Stream Deck itself. And in fact, if I was to just say delete this one over here and I'll put the action bar up for just one second and uh, to show you if I show that on the screen here you can see I've got my zoom controls up so uh, that's just showing you what's on the pedals uh, and now if I press this button down here on my stream deck you can see now it's changed to the uh, Ecamm Live buttons. So that is how we can switch back and forth between uh, different sets of uh, buttons on your pedals. So I will be setting up uh, a few different ones. What you can also do with this is uh, if you are using, uh, so I have like a home folder, this is the button I press when I go to my Ecamm Live. Well, what you can do is have a multi-action so that if you have a set of buttons that you want or a set of actions that you want in a profile on your regular Stream Deck and you want that to match up with what you've got on your foot pedal, then uh, here I've just shown you how you can just add this in uh, to here. But what you may want to do is actually set up a multi-action so that when you are switching profiles on your Stream Deck, so for example here, if I just delete this one and I'll uh, create a new multi-action, and in this multi-action, what I'm going to do is if I open it up, whoops, a daisy, I don't want to open it up like that. <laughs> That's the wrong way to do it. Uh, if I open up the multi-action, what I can do here is I'll do switch profile uh, and then I'll call that. This is the profile on my current device, which is the Stream Deck XL. Let me just move this up here. Uh, I'll move that one out of the way a little bit. Uh, so here, what I want to do is this was my... Uh, this one here take one tech recording uh, and now what I'll do is I'll also switch profile uh, and switch profile on the uh, stream the stream deck pedal and that one will be Ecamm live as well so now basically when I want to uh, go and do my recordings then I will just come in here and press this button and it will actually switch profiles on both devices so uh, it's uh, it's actually on the zoom profile at the moment
Did I select the right one? I think I may have selected the wrong one there. <laughs> just a second. Uh, profile is Ecamm Live. Just like that. Let me try that again. Because I noticed it has gone to the Zoom one. And there we go. It has changed. So it changed profiles on the regular Stream Deck, but it also changed profiles on the uh, the Stream Deck pedal as well. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be setting that up for all the different use cases, making sure I do have all of those uh, pedals. I'll leave a link to the Stream Deck pedal, by the way, in the uh, description down below. Now, if you are interested in learning more about the Stream Deck, I'll leave a link also to the playlist all about Stream Deck over on the right hand side.